Trade Centers here in New York have been hit by airplanes. In Washington, there, has, there is a large fire at the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been evacuated. And there's, you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Good Lord. So many different generations' voices have been heard on their views and opinions and feelings on 9-11. But there is a generation whose voice is rarely ever heard, and that is Generation Z. My name is Ethan Woodruff, and I was born in 2001. Hi, my name is Elliot. I was born in 2001 on August 2nd. My name is Reese Howard. I was born in 1999. I am Chevy Payne, and I was born in 2002. My name is Dimitri, and I was born on June 29th, 2000. Uh, hi, I'm River. I was born in 2003. I found out about 9-11 in sixth grade on 9-11 in history class. Our teacher showed the class a small documentary about 9-11 and that was the first moment that I learned that 9-11 was an event that happened. I was like a month or so old when it happened so obviously I didn't remember and I don't have any specific memory of like learning about or hearing about the event. I just kind of remember, you know, people in school, well, teachers in school would talk about it. And it was just kind of a thing that was not really thrown around, but like something that was brought up and like, you know, us as kids, we were made aware of it at a very young age. It was, it was in elementary. I remember we were talking, I was probably fifth grade. And um, my teacher was telling us about the events because she felt like we were mature enough. And we, we sort of just stared at her listening and I remember just sitting there in awe that this would actually happen because it sounded like something that would be straight out of a movie so I, I, I was sort of just in shock that time and it took me until about probably seventh grade to understand that it was a reality check on everyone like it was a real thing I think the first time I found out about the events of 9-11 was like when I was at least six or seven i was sitting at home with my mom she was actually watching a documentary on 9 11. i can't remember which one in specific but i just remember her watching a documentary about it and that's the first time i ever figured out that 9 11 was a thing since i was really young i didn't quite grasp the concept of death because i was like 10 or 11 at that time like, I knew what other things were, I didn't know what death truly was. And I didn't understand it until I was about, like, 15. When I first saw the images and footage of 9-11 in history class, when I first found out that 9-11 was a thing, I was, for one thing, I was shocked, uh, but I was kind of taken back and I was sort of in denial that an event like that really happened. So the rest of the day after school, I spent my time looking up more images and documentaries and all sorts of stuff about 9-11 because I was interested. Like, I wanted to learn more about it because of me just now learning about this that I'd, like, never known of ever before, and now I, like, suddenly wanted to know everything about it because it's just crazy to think that an event like that really actually happened. I remember being really, like, I think confused would be a good word, kind of scared, or more just like in shock that that was a thing that actually happened. That planes crashed into this these huge buildings. It was, it was shocking as a child to learn about that. For most, if not all, younger people, 9-11 is something that has to be taught, or was taught, either at home or in school, and it's widely discussed what the appropriate age is to be taught about the events. But the fact that in schools it is at all allowed to show those sorts of things to young, impressionable children, I think that that's not okay.
To answer that, I would have to say yes, because part of me wonders how people's minds have changed. I want to, and again, this, this sounds wrong, but it's just how everyone's brain like functions. I want, I'm curious to see how people's minds have developed in a different way because of this. And I, I'm curious to see the results on what it would have to me if I was there. I think like if I had been older and like if I had been like there and like knowledgeable of it or if I were literally there, I'd know exactly how to react to it more versus someone who is versus someone who is way too young. Like I was literally one year old when it first came about. So like I think if I were older around that time and I were there, I'd be able to know how to comprehend it as well as everybody else is. People, where do you think that the world, some people today in 2020 think the world is ending? Imagine what it must have felt like to live in New York City. I'd say both yes and no. Part of me says yes because I want to know how people felt that day. Like, part of me wants to understand the feeling that everyone had as they were witnessing these terrible events occurring. And then, of course, there's a part of me that says no because it's a terrible event and just, you know, logically people wouldn't want to see that happen in person. It traumatizes you in a really weird way to where it's harder to focus, at least for me. Again, I went numb for a period of time processing what I had seen because I was traumatized from it. I wanted to know why. Why they would show it instead of just talk about it. Why, why would they give us this horrific information whenever we were just kids? There was nothing I could say. There was nothing I could do. It was now engraved into our education system. And our education system's already flawed. So now I'm forced to deal with this emotional reaction to it and pretend that it, I'm fine. It impacted me in a really strange way that nothing else had. Of course, we've seen like the wars. We've seen all of these horrific things, especially on the news and in the media, but to know that that right there had impacted us in many ways and seeing how it impacted my mindset at that time, which caused me to mature a lot faster, but also caused me to develop things like anxiety and depression in the future from me thinking of all this loss and me now having this sense of mortality. Whenever I was a kid, I never really feared death. I didn't know what to deal, like, I didn't know how to deal with that. So yes, it, it impacted a lot. I don't necessarily think they have impacted my life in any way because I'm not as, I, I won't say like, I, I'm not as connected with the event. Like a lot of people over the years have had like family members that they've lost or people that they know that they've lost or some incident regarding that to 9-11. But I do know for a fact that, it, like, looking, I, I'd say, like, looking at documentaries and articles and stuff about it sort of hits me in a way. Because it's like, well, it was a terrible event. So many people lost their lives. So many people had to deal with after effects from it much later. And it's like, it sucks. Because it's like, that's an event that really changed the world. We literally remember that every single year. Like, September 11th, 2001, that's literally the biggest thing that everybody remembers. And whenever it comes up, you know, it's a day of, it's like essentially like a Memorial Day, but specifically for that day. I think it's upsetting. Honestly, it's like people keep bringing it up and they keep, well, it, of course, it's something that should be remembered because, you know, it, it was a horrible event in the history of America, and just horrible event in general. But I feel like it's used far too often for pushing the idea of patriotism. It's like, they make it into a big show, basically. They take this horrible, awful thing that happened, and they bring it up just almost for shock value. Like, it's a punchline to a joke that isn't funny. For the most part, I think it's okay, but also I feel like some people try to turn it into like, I don't know, like a holiday of sorts, and that's kind of messed up. 
but for the most part, I think that people handle it really, really well. A lot of people have voiced their opinions, stating that they believe America treats 9-11 more like a holiday rather than a day to remember the events. Me personally, I think my voice should only be heard by those who are willing to listen. I could not care less who listens. I could not care less who disagrees or agrees with me. To me, I just want to get it out there and if people agree, then it'll spread. If they don't if they don't agree, then it's my opinion and that's how it will be and that's how it always is. Yeah, I think so because People like me, who are too young to remember it, or some people who weren't even alive when it happened, we can kind of see it without the whole, like, without the whole lens of trauma, I guess, for lack of a better term. We can see it as an event in history rather than just, you know, something that happened. i just say, you know, 9-11 was a very, very crucial part of our history. Like, it's always going to be there. It's always going to sit with us. And I personally think a lot more people need to take it more seriously because the term history repeats itself is a very, very important statement because who knows, something like this could spring up far into the future. And people of this generation who have heard stuff about 9-11 and are making jokes about it are going to be extremely surprised when, when and if a situation springs forward that was exactly like 9-11 because... Like I said, it was very, very important. And if something like that were to repeat itself, a lot more people definitely are going to need to be way more attentive and way more, you know, sensitive towards the situation. That's the way I feel. I'd say yes, that Gen Z's voice about 9-11 matters and that it's a strong voice and that it should be heard more because it's the generation that either was too young or wasn't alive to witness one of the most tragic events in America. Because Gen Z is the generation of people who either were too young or weren't alive to remember or even witness the events of 9-11, they are the generation with a voice on the events that is quite different from every other previous generation. And every future generation will have a different voice of their own on the events of 